In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy an Open Nebula Cloud on vSphere in just five minutes with V1 Cloud. We're going to download the OVA from v1cloud.today, deploy V1 Cloud on vCenter, configure the V1 Cloud appliance, and then log in to the Sunstone GUI. Let's start off by downloading the V1 Cloud appliance. Go to v1cloud.today and click on Try V1 Cloud Now. Click on the download button and you will be taken to a form. We ask you to fill out the form to join our mailing list where we can keep you updated with all of the Open Nebula news. In just a few moments, you will receive an email with all of the links to download the OVA appliance. Click on the link in the email and download it to your workstation. Now it's time to deploy the appliance into vCenter. Open your vCenter server and log in with your credentials. Right click on a cluster and click on deploy OVF template. Select a local file and then browse for the appliance OVA that you previously downloaded. Click on next and select a name for the virtual machine. Select the cluster to deploy it in, view all of the details, select the data store and the disk format you want to use, the network you want to use, do a final review and then click finish. Now wait a few moments and the deployment will be finished. You can see the, the task in the bottom to see the status of it. Once it's finished deploying, power the virtual machine on. And open the webcam console. Once the virtual machine has finished booting, you'll be presented with the Open Nebula configuration screen. Let's press number one to start configuring the network. Click on edit a connection to add all your IP address details. Once they are added, ensure that the connection is activated and also set a system host name. Once this is done, click on quit and you'll be returned to the Open Nebula configuration screen. Now press number two and this will set the one admin password. This is the password that you'll log in to the Sunstone user interface with. Once that is set, we will press number three and this is to set the root password. Finally, press number four to configure the public endpoint of FireEdge. This should be a public, fully qualified domain name or IP address that will be used to access your V1 Cloud instance by end users. Now let's open a new tab and go to the IP address that you set for the virtual machine previously. The Sunstone user interface will now load and you'll be able to log in with the one admin password. And that's the initial installation of the Open Nebula front end completed. Thank you for watching.